taking a one more level deeper um, let's say i'm start i'm looking to build a gen ai application for enterprise okay where do i actually start with or even further what do what are the skill sets that i need to have to before i start a gen ai application and also take me through this te- the tech stack the infrastructure that is required to yeah. to do this so uh, when you look at a gen ai application it more or less similar to how you build a ml application with added uh, some added technologies or some uh, models that are specific to gen ai so as i said before the main importance of a enterprise solution is to look at data privacy right and uh, data privacy and how clean the data is so that's where we start we look at the data we make sure the data is uh, all the regulatory body compliant there's no user data and you clean the data and before that the most important thing is to make sure that the application that you're going to build is relevant for your business use case uh, will it going to either generate revenue or it, is it going to save you time in terms of the work that you're going to do because a uh, gen ai application might look very easier to build but when it goes into production if it's not very fruitful it's just a waste of uh, company resources so you look at that first uh, define your problem statement define your uh, solution space and then you move into data cleaning part where you need to look at all those uh, uh, checks and balances and make sure the data is clean and then you uh, the the next step would be to get into the actual building of the model uh, now there are different ways of building a model uh, you can use a base foundational model to build a very straightforward model but usually what enterprise the straightforward model can be used to build a consumer app because you don't need very uh, specific use case it's a very general use case but when you come to an enterprise solution it's a very specific and niche segment so what you would want to do is take a foundational model build it uh, fine tune based on your data set your customer data set your demographic data set and build a, uh, a is new it the rag that Th- that's not right that's called fine tuning rag is a different concept right. but uh, it, it, this is called fine tuning taking a base model foundational model and then uh using your data let's say uh you are into a retail space so you have a customer data their demographic their buying habits and all of that so you take your foundational model teach them about your customer your products and everything so that the answer that you come get out of that model is very specific to your need it is not a because foundational models are very generic in nature they can mm-hmm. answer anything and everything but you want answer to be very specific especially in case of healthcare and financial you don't want a random answer you want a healthcare specific answer or financial specific answer and these are some of the sector where you need to be very uh, careful about data privacy because there are a lot of regulatory fines and things like that so you have to be very careful so uh, coming to tech stack uh, what you need to start with is python uh, Python is very uh, like uh, it's been most more adopted than other languages. So you have to be good at Python. Uh, coming to models, there are different frameworks in the market today. For example, something called Langchain is there, which is very up and coming, and you right. can use that as a Langchain is a very general specific framework. So you can use that framework to easily build your application. It's not necessary to use that framework, but when, if you use that, you will become easier. If you don't, you have to do a lot of things manually. So it is up to the business need how they want to do it, and uh, then you need to be very good at uh, cloud. Uh, infrastructure setup because these applications can be uh, need to be scaled up and down uh, very uh, randomly based on the need and once you have a cloud infrastructure setup correctly in place you can do that very very easily instead of having a physical uh, infrastructure so i think these three things the the programming languages and the framework that you need to use and the last part is infrastructure if you combine these three and get a good co- combination of all the tools and techniques of for these three categories you will be able to build a good enterprise solution 